Hey, uh, welcome back to Build Some More. Our first official trail ride in Frankenstein. And uh, we're gonna video it and show it to you. And here we go, let's do it. about ready to take our last run up a hill and uh, and back down off a little drop off and then we're gonna be done to say is ye freaking ha ah. everything went no problem same little thing I mean the exhaust hitting the dry shaft when I hit a bump or turn too hard other than that man she climbed those sand hills like nothing and I didn't even have the air pressure out of the tires um, and that's some deep sand up there there's a little full drive Subaru that was with us that was trying to had took him like I don't know five or six times to make up that same hill we went up. He had to keep backing down and getting a run at it. Nobody did end up making it, but one time only is all I needed. I do know that the power valves are too big in the carburetor um, because when I hit the throttle, when it first pushes that uh, fuel inside to the carburetor from the power valves. Then it's putting too much fuel because it'll bog and even miss for a second. Then all of a sudden, as I'm holding it steady, it'll wake up and start ripping. Um, yeah, that's it's turning out great. Not a single thing broke. I went through all the welds when I got back and checked all the welds, checked the bolts, everything held together. Uh, motor mouse didn't break. The, the body welds didn't break. The, drive shafts didn't break that I have welded together um, nothing broke so oh, I got company somebody decided to come say hi to me hey puppy boy I know you probably want to go outside but anyways I'm gonna end it off there for today I had a great time out there in the trails didn't have any problems with it uh, then I'm definitely going to get some power steering. You hit a big bump and it just rips the steering wheel right out of your hand. 
So I definitely got to get the power steering put on there. The new shocks are coming for the front. So we're really close to having everything complete. And then uh, a good washing, top to bottom and underneath. And uh, getting the, some touch up places done. And uh, some places that were scratched, retouched up. And I think what else? You know, the power steering, the exhaust. Got to get re-ran for the driver's side. Just a bunch of little stuff, nothing that really matters. It's still usable and I can still take it out right now and nothing broke. So I'm highly impressed with myself. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'll end it off here.